On April 9th, General Peter Schoomaker said goodbye to the Army as he rode off into retirement for the second time. But before he saddled up and headed out of town, the Army's top NCO hosted a special soldier's tribute for the outgoing Chief of Staff. George McNamara has the story. It was a soldier tribute for a job well done. At Fort Myer, Virginia, NCOs honored the outgoing Chief of Staff of the Army, General Peter Schoomaker. The Army's top NCO, Sergeant Major of the Army, Kenneth Preston, shared some facts about the chief you won't find in his bio, like when the retired general received the call to come back to active duty. The individual on the other end said, General Schoomaker, this is the uh, Secretary of Defense's office. I have Secretary Rumsfeld who wants to speak with you. Now, the first thing the chief thought was, hey, this is one of my buddies playing a joke. So he hung up. The SMA presented the chief what he called a cowboy Minuteman to hang his gear on, including a saddle stand with a plate featuring the CSA's code name, Coyote. During his three and a half years as chief, Schoomaker was true to his cowboy ways, especially when it came to one sport in particular. I don't want to upset anybody, but I'll tell you, I believe that golf is a wussy sport. Okay, so for any of you people out there that are wasting those drop zones and rifle ranges and puttering around tiddlywinks with a stick, I want to tell you that hunting and fishing for something you can't eat is sinful. From his days growing up as a military brat to his time as the chief of staff, General Schoomaker spent a lifetime in the Army. A true believer in the warrior ethos, Schoomaker summed up his career recalling the words to the poem, A Soldier's Reflection. As I have seen the face of terror, I have felt the stinging cold of fear. I have lived the times most would say are best forgotten, but at least I can say I am proud of what I was, a soldier. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. George McNamara, Fort Myer, Virginia.